Hi, I'm Carrie Blanchard here today to speak about improvement cycles. So it seems like a, a hot topic in this series. Uh, and I just really wanted to talk about how implementation strategies that are tailored to specific individual needs and also adapted to the local context are key to effective PDSA cycle use. So often PDSA cycles, when used alone, aren't sufficient. And research supports this notion that PDSA cycles are often engaged in incomplete. So this has important implications in health and human service settings, as often we're using PDSA methods in quality improvement initiatives. To put this into context, we have a study with 35 primary care practice sites with clinical pharmacists embedded in those sites. These pharmacists are carrying out an intervention to optimize medication use and improve patient outcomes. Pharmacists are engaging in PDSA cycles as a way to increase uptake and use of a consistent patient care process. We have three key learnings that we think are transferable across settings for those utilizing PDSA cycles in complex healthcare systems. The first key to success is that you need to use implementation strategies in order to facilitate uh, intentional use of these PDSA cycles. We first had to define and operationalize what is our patient care process that pharmacists are doing. On baseline survey, we found that there was a lack of consistency in what pharmacists were delivering. So we utilized Allison Metz practice profile methodology that she spoke to earlier today to really define our intervention. Once we had that definition, we were then able to uh, add supports, implementation strategies around that. First being training and educational resources that allowed pharmacists to utilize the PDSA methods. We found that training alone was also not sufficient and therefore we needed to engage sites using coaching strategies so that they could build confidence and competency in the use of PDSA cycles. After coaching support was implemented, we also had them form teams in order to assist in sustainability and accountability. These teams were consisted of uh, leadership from the practice, pharmacists, and other healthcare team members. So our second key to improvement cycle success is utilizing really is to meet people where they were at. We needed to tailor our implementation strategies so that those who had different skill sets could utilize the PDSA cycles. As you can imagine, we had pharmacists who had been involved in quality improvement initiatives for many years, and we had some pharmacists and teams who had never seen or heard of a PDSA cycle and really needed to have additional support. Coaching was really leveraged in order to provide this individualization. Um, our third key to success is that you really need to adapt these implementation strategies to the local context. In our study, we had 35 primary care practice sites across the US, and these included large integrated healthcare systems and small rural family practice clinics as well. And so as you can imagine, we needed to tailor the PDSA cycle methods to fit their context. This included how their data management was, uh, what our coaching supports included, as well as what the team composition looked like. So in conclusion, we really need to utilize implementation strategies that are tailored to the individual needs and adapted to the local context for success. Thank you.